Hi, my name is Justin Olivier, Regional Product Manager for Prepper and Fuchs Mobility Products. Today, I'll be walking you through how to use the setup app to configure your IDENT EX Bluetooth scanner. The Android version of the app is available on the Google Play Store, but the Windows version can also be downloaded directly from our website. There are slight differences between the Windows and Android versions, but basic operations will be the same. Today, we'll be using the Windows version. To get started, go ahead and power up your IDENT. Before attempting to connect to the setup app, make sure that the blue LED next to the Bluetooth symbol on your IDENT EX is not illuminated. This indicates that the IDENT is connected via the hardware interface device or HID Bluetooth profile. To make configuration changes, we need to be connected using the serial port profile. If the blue LED is on, simply hold the SPP button on the IDENT for a few seconds to disconnect the device. Next, from the Setup app, on the Settings tab, you'll simply hit Connect. It may be necessary to pair the IDENT and whatever device you are using the Setup app on through the standard Bluetooth interface first. Once that is done, hitting Connect should get you going. And once a SPP connection is established, both the blue Bluetooth LED and yellow SPP LED will be illuminated on the IDENT itself. Within the app, you will see the connection indicator change to connected and the color will change to green. On that same settings tab, you have the option to read data from the connected IDENT. This will pull the current configuration from the device and will put us into online mode. Online mode will automatically send any configuration changes directly to the IDENT. So it might be a good idea to save your current configuration as a backup before entering on online mode. Once the app has finished pulling all the settings off the IDENT EX, you will see the status indicator at the bottom of the screen change to online with the green color to indicate it is connected properly. Once again, whenever you're in online mode, it will push changes directly to your IDENT in real time. Today, I'll show you how to add a return as a post amble to any scan you make. On the general tab, first check and make sure that the correct head module is selected. If you don't know which head module is installed on your IDENT, simply look on the back of the device. There are multiple ways to enter a return as a post amble command, depending on which reader you're using. But the simplest way is to scroll down to additional HID keys. From there, you can select post amble or preamble, depending on if you want the command sent before or after a scan. We'll select post amble so that enter will be sent after our scan data is sent to your device. Then scroll down to key one and select return. You can see there are several other options there for escape, delete, tab, spacebar, various F keys and function keys and things of that nature. Simply select whichever command you need and it will be sent automatically to the device. When you make changes, you can see that it was successfully transferred by the status indicator at the bottom of the application. As you look at the various tabs at the top of the setup application, you'll see various reader heads. SN, SE955, EN, EX25. These are all various reader heads that can be configured onto your IDENT. And the options for configuration changes will change depending on which particular reader head is installed. But no matter which reader head you have installed, all configuration changes can be made from the IDENT EX setup app. You can also go to the memory tab to see any locally stored scans that have been stored on the IDENT itself. You can pull those off, export those in a text file or a CSV or Excel spreadsheet. To get any data that may not have been sent from the IDENT via Bluetooth to your connected device. You can also see device info that will tell you things like battery level, which firmware version is installed on the device, the bootloader, etc. Firmware updates for the IDENT EX can also be handled from the Setup app. All the information on how to get the firmware information and how to update the Setup app can all be found from within the app and it'll walk you through in real time on the application itself. The changes we made today were all in online mode, so they've already been sent to the device. But if you need to set up multiple IDENT EX scanners, you can save that configuration as an XML file 
that you can import later and push to new devices. To do that, simply select Save As on the Settings tab, pick your storage location, name your configuration file, and save it. Then if you connected a different IDENT, you could go to the Load section of the Settings app, load that configuration file, and then instead of going to Read when you connect a new IDENT, simply hit Save and Send. And that'll update the configuration to your IDENT without having to go through and individually make settings changes for each connected IDENT. More details on the full list of configuration options can be found by, by downloading the IDENT EX software manual from the Ecom website. If you have any questions at all on how to use the IDENT EX setup app or any other Pepperland Fuchs device, please feel free to contact us today.